Greetings, vinyl community, and welcome to the Music Room Tour, uh, for lack of a better term. I have not done one of these uh, since my old house. And I'm not sure why I'm pointing, but my old house is, geographically speaking, probably over there, over there somewhere. Um, and that was in the early days of me doing YouTube videos. I've been in this house for going on three years, so I guess for the sake of posterity and because a lot of you have asked, we're going to do this today. Um, what you're going to see today, well, first of all, um, ostensibly my basement is my whole music room, which is admittedly not very big, but I think I've made good use of the space that I do have. I'm quite happy with it. Um, you're going to see CDs over there, which we'll get to, but I'm um, slowly thinning those out um, just to kind of keep my core CDs. You're going to see where I hang out, listen to vinyl. You're going to see vinyl, obviously. You're going to see my stereo setup. Uh, you're going to see my little side room here which I used to film videos in, that, and I don't anymore, but it's mostly vinyl over there. You're going to see little bits and bobs all over the place, but uh, this is going to be my music room 2019, and I think um, if I have to kind of sum up my stereo setup, it's what you can do with not a lot of money if you're good at perusing the online ads or uh, the thrift stores. But um, what I have uh, is what I think would be the everyman system. Nothing too high end, nothing low end. It's kind of riding there in the middle, which I'm very happy with, uh, and it suits the room very well, um, but you can be the judge of that. Anyways, uh, this is going to be the Music Room Tour 2019, but first of all, cheers everyone. I hope everyone is well. You're going to see a few edits in this video as well, which is very unlike me, but uh, because of lighting issues, we're going to have some edits today. So, like I said, this is the Music Room Tour 2019. And this is a general overview of my music room. We'll get to the stereo setup in a bit. As you can see, it's a bit cozy. This is uh, the room I have to work with, so I try to make good use of it. Uh, I like it, it's nice and cozy. Uh, we're gonna start with uh, this corner over here, which is what's left of the CDs um, that I have out. Like I said in the beginning, I've been starting to thin out a lot of my CDs. At one point, I was up to about 10,000 uh cds but this is what i have out right now this is rock pop uh what else is in here jazz some punk everyone likes box sets so here's some box sets you got some ramones a couple springsteens uh four really cool rhino box sets uh this is the beastie boys hot sauce committee from the first record store today i have two of them uh, and you guys can see the rest that's what's left of uh the box sets i have out and this over here would be my metal rack of what's out. I think I have more in boxes. And uh, the box sets, once again, there's the original Ed Head box set with the lights. The eyes light up, but I'm out of batteries right now. But those are what those holes are for. Uh, so we have the Kiss box set, the Megadeth box set. That's an autographed Metallica Death Magnetic Coffin box. We got some Sabbath, we got some Priest, we got some Motorhead, we got some CDs here going to a friend in Holland. This one's really cool. It's the uh, single, it's the uh, what's the Priest singles box set, all of their singles. But anyways, that's what's uh, here for CDs in this corner. And we're going to slowly pan over and we're going to get to the last of the CDs that are out. And these are all what I would say are 80s, um, where there's kind of alternative 80s or just pop 80s. I think I'll be retaining all of my 80 CDs as I use them for DJing still. Um, box sets, once again, we got some Split Ends, some Madonnas, some Durans, the Wax Tracks box set, Ministry. These were uh, cups uh, that you got with, uh, you guys, I've talked about this before, I've followed Depeche Mode on tour in Europe. So when you buy a beer at a Depeche Mode concert in Europe, you get a collector cup. So for every beer I drank, I kept a cup. 80s box set, and that's what I have out right now for CDs. So we're gonna pan around. I'm gonna try to get as much as I can. This is the chair that I uh, sit and listen to music in. Um, this is also the chair I film my videos in, not that you need to know that. And this is the Shays Lounge. How's that for being all international? Uh, this, is what I would, this, is, this is what I would sit and listen to music in. This is what I fall asleep and listen to music in. Or when the wife kicks me out of the bedroom, this is kind of what I sleep on. <laughs> Anyways, that's this is a really cool book a friend of mine got. 
I'm just starting to fill it out now. We'll talk more about that later. My yoga mats. My John F. Kennedy pillow, the best prime minister ever. Okay, I'm, he's not a prime minister. Uh, Bauhaus poster from, what uh, was it, the Manchester Academy? 2000, what, I can't remember what year that is now. 06, 2006. Recently had that framed, Pursuit of Happiness, one of my favorite Canadian bands. We're going to get to, uh, well, here we go. This is uh, mostly all my metal vinyl. I think there's some, uh, the lower runs are punk. I'm not sure, can't remember, but mostly metal punk. This is what's out once again. Um, if we have time, we'll get to all the boxes of stuff I don't have room for. That's what that is. And up top here, we have, of course, the essential, at least for me, Shaun of the Dead figures. And then we got the original Fonzie doll from the 70s. And this is a recent thing I picked up, if you could pick this up here. This is an original 1977 Kiss belt buckle I found at a thrift store uh, that's worth a few bucks. I think that was a cool find. And then this is the the box. If you're a longtime viewer, you'll, you'll know that I've talked about my legacy box, the box of singles that I'll be leaving to my wife and kids, uh, singles that are the most meaningful to me in life. That's what that box is there. Um, I think one short, and that's coming in the mail, so maybe I'll do a video about that as well. So that is... My metal vinyl. What this vinyl is here is the vinyl I've bought since I've seen you last, my last vinyl finds video. That's what that is. So I kind of store it there out of the way and then I have it ready for you to film. That's my Fender Stratocaster and my little Vox amp. And where do we go? Maybe we'll go to the other music room and we'll maybe we'll go to the other music room, I guess, maybe, and we'll uh do the stereo setup last because I think there's gonna be an edit there. You guys have all seen that. That's my autographed Roger Waters poster from 2007 when he did the whole Dark Side of the Moon. Of course, you got to have the disco ball. I don't know if you can see this now because the light. Joy Ramone, Andy Warhol, and then, of course, you have E.T. I don't know if you can pick that up in the light there. You guys have all seen the Knack poster. And, of course, incense. Who doesn't need incense? Well, I do. Um... This is the other room, which I used to film videos in, and it got to be a bit echoey, so I decided not to film in there anymore. But uh, this is primarily where I keep most of my vinyl that I keep. There's a couple racks there. Where I got one, two, three, four, five, five racks in here. Then we got box sets. I'll just kind of scan the box sets. A lot of people have asked me to do videos showing my box sets, but I think that would be a tad boring for everyone. But there you go. We can do this all in one video. So my Oasis, Metallica's, Miles Davis. That's a T-Rex box set. Uh, Dexter Gordon, Pink Floyd, and we got some suede. Uh, Gong. Uh, what is this one? Oh, you 2 and then we got all the issues of Classic Pop Magazine, which I subscribe to. And uh, we got some Bowie, we got some Sex Pistols box sets, some Ramon 7-inch box sets. Uh, what else we got over here? We have T-Rex singles box set, some Kiss singles box set. These are my 7-inch singles. They span 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 boxes. I keep them up top there. These are the ones that I keep that I don't DJ with, because what you'll see down here, this is my DJ case. I'm doing a DJ night right away, and this is where I keep all the singles I play. Let's see if I can get a better overview of everything for you. It's kind of hard. This room is a bit cramped right now. There's a lot more space than it looks, but over here, I have boxes and boxes and boxes. I have them covered because my cat um, sometimes get the gets the urge to scratch the boxes. He doesn't scratch the vinyl over here, per se, but he likes to scratch cardboard, so I cover it all up. Uh, this is a recent thrift store find that I haven't shown you. Is uh, found this Sony, what is it, STRV4 receiver, and it is awesome. It is actually better than the one I'm going to show you that's in my main system. It's uh, got a few tweaks I need to do to it. There's a light that's burned out here, I believe. But everything else seems to be working really well. So that was a thrift store find for, uh, I think, 9 dollars 
And then if you want to look this one up, this is a dual CV 12B from 1969. There's a little bag here to protect it because that was my daughter's that I'm starting to, uh, I think I might, I might sell that one because she now lives overseas. Sorry about any light issues, everyone. We're going to do this on the fly. So as we'll back out of my music room, and I think we're going to do a little edit here. And we're going to get to my main music system. Actually, you know what? While I'm here, I might as well show you what I got over here, I guess. This is kind of where I have my TV, but I don't really have any cable or what you would call channels on it. I don't really watch TV. But I have a Blu-ray player. I got, my, of course, my Atari 2600. Super NES, Xbox, and of course, Pac-Man playing on the screen from my, my Atari 2600. And what do we got here? Oasis, an original Oasis. Uh, What's the story? Morning Glory poster. And the gal print. Yeah, but you guys don't care about that. So anyways, that's what's over here. And I think what we're going to do right now is we're going to do an edit, and then we're going to get to my stereo system. And this is my music setup currently. We'll go through it piece by piece, where I got them from, uh, how I have it all wired together, etc., etc., etc. But we'll start uh, with speakers first. And what I'm using right now is what I would consider is a pair of placeholder speakers. I'm very happy with them. I paid 100 bucks for them via an online ad. They were pretty much next to new. They're a pair of Poke Audio. And you'll have to excuse me, I don't remember the model number, but uh, two drivers, one tweeter. Um, why they're placeholder speakers is, uh, as I've talked about before in my videos, as I save up all my money every year, I go to Europe for a few weeks, three, four weeks, and I go vinyl shopping. The first year that we're not going to go to Europe is the year I'm going to save up and get... Uh, a really, really good pair of upgrade speakers. So this is what I call a pair of uh, placeholder speakers. But having said that, I'm very, very, very happy with them for the price I paid uh, via an online ad. Let's start with the turntable. Uh, I've showed this one many times before, but this is a Moran's 6200. In excellent condition. Very, very happy with that. I'm not sure if you can see all this. Maybe I'll try to stand up. As you can see, the dust cover is in really nice condition. So that's my turntable, and I don't really foresee changing that out anytime soon, although I've had about a dozen turntables come in and out of my hands uh, over the last couple of years. I always come back to this one as my main table. So that's what I have for my turntable. Going over to here, this is a recent addition, is a uh, Mies or Mies, I think it's Mies, uh, Phono Preamp, the P50. Um, I went preamp shopping not that long ago and I had a budget of between two to four hundred dollars and the place I went uh, were really nice in consulting with me I was kind of going back and forth between um, Cambridge Audio and I can't remember there was one other one I was going uh, in between in my mind which one to get and they were assuring me this one was the best one for my dollar and I have to say they're right it's a really an amazing affordable preamp and then what we have here is my Moran's, uh, you got some light glare there, sorry, my Moran's 1530 receiver. So I have a Moran's turntable and a Moran's receiver in excellent condition. I'm very happy with my receiver as well. A pair of DJ headphones over there. Um, so yeah, there's that there. I'll scan across that in case anyone wants to see what's on there on the 1530. Pretty much your standard receiver, but uh, it's not a lot of watts per channel, but it's very clean sounding, uh, which is why I've had to um, add a sub, and which we'll get to that right away. We have a Pioneer cassette deck. Uh, what is that? That's the CTF500 cassette deck, which I've just started to reuse again after not using it for about a year. Got some cassette tapes over there. We have this, uh, this was, oh, sorry, I should say, the turntable I bought from a fellow record collector so I paid fair market value for that this I already told you about I bought recently at a stereo store um, this I got at a thrift store for 20 bucks I believe I can't remember exactly but it was in and around that price 10 to 20 bucks 
this was, well, I think $5.99 from a thrift store. And then I, we're on to this. This is a uh, power conditioner. It's the Monster HDP 1800. Not a big fan of Monster, but I got this on an online ad for about 10 bucks. And it really helps to uh, reduce buzz, to have everything plugged into one uh, main thing, in case there's any power outages, etc., etc. Very happy with that power conditioner. We have a Denon CD player. As you can see that, very exciting, isn't it? CD players. And then this is a recent addition as well. This is a, a Pioneer designed by Andrew Jones uh, subwoofer which I'm also very, very happy about. And it really rounds out the sound that I get from my Moran's receiver there. Very happy I, I purchased that recently. So between the uh, phono preamp, which I was a recent addition, and the subwoofer, I feel I have a, a very, very good sounding system right now that I'm very happy with. Uh, I'm looking forward to upgrading the speakers uh, at some point down the line, but we'll get to that when I get to that. Um, to be honest with you, I'm very happy with the Polka Audio ones that I'm using now, and I would much rather go to Europe uh, uh, currently than upgrade my speakers because that's going to be a big investment. So that is my stereo setup currently. Moran uh, 6200 uh, going through a Mies Phono preamp into a Moran's 1530, and it's all plugged into a power conditioner. Uh, cassette deck CD player and like I said the Andrew Jones design pioneer sub uh, for someone who wants to get a subwoofer and not spend a lot of money I really really highly recommend this one I think I paid $200 for it and it was worth every penny uh, that I spent on that one and like I said then we got a, play, a pair of placeholders uh, Polka Audio speakers that I can't remember the model number I'm brain farting I apologize I'll post that in the description so that's what we got for my stereo setup currently. Very, very, very happy with it, I'll be honest with you. Uh, it's probably the best it uh, has ever sounded. And uh, for the room I have, it's the perfect uh, it's the perfect setup, to be honest with you. So anyways, that's what we got going on in 2019. That is my stereo setup. Uh, leave any comments in the section. If you want to see something a little bit more in detail, let me know. If I bypass something, let me know. Uh, I'd be happy to answer your any questions. But that's what I got going on. And that's what you can get for not a lot of money. Uh, like I said, the CD player, the uh, the conditioner, the power conditioner, uh, the tape deck, the receiver, were all from thrift stores or online ads, and the speakers as well. Um, I paid full pop for the turntable, the uh, phono preamp, and the sub right there, which once again, I said I'm very, very, uh, very happy with. Woo! There you go. That was a mouthful. So that is my, once again, my stereo setup 2019. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Uh, we'll see you next time.